What's up guys? Let's prepare to play Control. This is my first Let's Play. Seems like a very trippy game. Seems like a fun game. I know it says continue, but this is my first time playing it. I played like the first five minutes to uh, get a feel uh, for what it was about. I will make sure to disable my webcam during cutscenes so you get the full effect of it. But uh, let's see what this game has in store for us. This is going to be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like... We live in a room. And there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes, something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? here all right so we are in very cool intro it seems like a lot of deep and beats deep thoughts but here we are at the Federal Bureau of Control not any secretaries on duty all right no one in line and uh, I'm definitely not walking through this mail detector I'm just getting me through that. Let's see what's here. Certain objects are not allowed inside the Bureau. Recent incidents have necessitated an issued reminder for prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smart watches, smart phones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. <laughs> well, that's why I didn't go for the mill detector, so you can't detect my smartness. Number two, tensils, for whatever reason. Any objects considered by iconic representations of architectural uh, concepts, rubber duckies, ketchup bottles, okay. Any materials under bureau investigation is to be brought in through the private entrance. Is if you have any lobby personnel in breach of these po policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. Okay, narcs. Automatic door, nice. Internal lockdown in effect, building lockdown in effect. Well, not doing a super great job. Maybe someone brought in a number two pencil. Certainly no one's smart in here though. Let's see what's in here. More papers. Major, uh, 
Expense Summary. Major. Staffing Surveillance Redacted. Data Center Initiative Construction Redacted. Redacted. Minor Office Equipment and Janitorial Cost Redacted. Okay. This is definitely a government building. Even uh, janitorial costs are... This seal. Can be redacted. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. That is the eagle. If you live in America, you see that seal a lot. So I left the TV on there. Probably on the uh, wrong input or channel. There are these paintings we saw at the uh, cutscene at the beginning. Uh, janitor. Very important. Our bureau at work. Well, maybe they uh, control the cleaning habits of America. Got a little bathroom here. Let's see how the uh, janitor does his job. Let's see. Pretty good. Pretty good clean bathroom. Second stall is also good. Pretty good at their jobs here. Good janitors. Of control. All these years I've been looking for them and they were hiding in plain sight. Seems like a pretty big building. Not a lot of good vending machine options though. No name brand. But just a bunch of office building. Lots of papers. Okay, that's just all redacted. If you want to read the full thing, you can always pause the video, but it didn't seem like there was much to read there. Hello, as you are should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. Okay, so just more government forms and probably unnecessary papers. Hello? I don't like that. No, oh, it's the janitor. Okay, let's go say hi to you. Hey, excuse me. There you are. Here I am. Here about the job. Sure. Janitor's assistant. She yes. Has to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they do. Relevant. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sound when you call out. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about Did it. Did he just read my mind? No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. There's the elevator. It's over here. Bathroom. Well, um, I guess I'm here for the assistant manager position, or excuse me, janitor position. I didn't realize that. Oh, this is the same room. Oh, so that picture of the janitor we saw earlier is now an elevator. Cool. I don't even know janitors the cell needed assistance. And a poster. But hey, I need the job. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help?
Did I lose you there for a moment? You did. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay, Dylan is missing. Can't get in there. Well, I haven't done my interview yet. That's annoying. Uh, while preparing any notifications for death related to Willow AWE, please adhere to the following guidelines, word and phrases to use, in the service of his slash her country, regret, proud pride, will be remembered, and uh, words and phrases to avoid, Alaska, scissors, blood slash bleed, loss, okay, so. That must be a terrible job to tell people that. I bet you there is a list like that somewhere. Barbara, I'm not disturbed. Cancel all my. I'm not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for today for the rest of the week. Can't can't trench them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Yeah, Barbara. Can't trust anyone. Okay. I guess we'll go in here. Shit. I don't think I'm gonna get the job. So you want me to pick it up? The murder weapon? Really? Yes. Yes, I do. Give me that. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> Look at this place. Where am I? I don't know. I'm talking to a pyramid, apparently. An upside down pyramid. <laughs> Get into your subtitles. Part four. Ooh. Hello. Oh, nope. Nope. Bad. Oh. And he just disappeared. There's my gun. Give me that shit. Yes, you do. We have a gun. These guys are mean. That's how you miss every shot. That's a f nice, satisfying gun to use. What are these blue things? Money. The service gun, uh... Melee's so much more fun. That's so much easier. Oh, they have guns now. Only I can have guns. Bad. Good intro. I'm so 
something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the Bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Well, me too. Um... Things have quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? I think I just got promoted to director, so... Janitor assistant to uh, director. Not a bad... Uh, promotion. Though it looks like he did make my new office all dirty, so let's go find the janitor. Get that thing. Never mind. Never mind. Let's not go there. Though I'm not cleaning that, so gotta go get him. I didn't do it. You can't let this happen. 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 You stopped it. You... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. Okay. Get the fuck away! Someone's been doing drugs. That's all I'm saying. This is a fun gun to use. Look how the environment got destroyed. Very cool. Can I come in here now? I'm the director. Nope. Wow. Let's look at the paneling fall off. Very cool. This wasn't here before. Secure line of communication. Where's the Guide elevator? We've reached the hotline. All right, reaching the, the hotline. Line, says the dead man. I want the janitor to okay. clean the blood off my desk. Did he shoot through the one? Oh, it's a one. So cool. Is everything going flying? All these desks. Did I kill her? No. Oh, you're still alive. Just even now they die is very cool. But what's going on here? What are you doing? through that door. It's in here. Oh. Gotcha. Stop. More papers. For Marshall's eyes only. <laughs> well, guess what, Marshall? Our eyes now. Marshall, we checked out the specifics. AWE and the blah, blah, blah. blah. Not very interesting. Personal mods? Health boost. I'll take a health boost. No gun mods. Oh, we got a photo. This guy? Very handsome. Service weapon. Okay, this is important. No unique procedures required. The object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows, not even gonna try to pronounce that word, you try your best, to redacted. This object must be only bound by individuals seeking a role of redacted. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, sure, the applicant is terminated. I just got this job. 
This process is dictated by Bo Redacted, though the criteria is unknown. The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as a director's office. My office. The popular hypothesis blank made many forms throughout history. Mjolnir, Excalibur, not sure what that is, but famous weapons. All weapons that blink of their weirders, if object of powers are convergence of forces based on collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of the event, in this case, redacted. Oh, there was some more there. Oh, little training video. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose and you're, well, fine. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. sure what that material feels holding. These guys are pretty loud. But harmless, I guess. Okay. Is this the door? Where's the door? I guess it just disappeared. More papers. Lots of papers. No organization. Paper. Oh. Reminder, if you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Okay. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. You're welcome. What if I'm the supervisor? Ooh, this is the boys' bathroom. But I'm a girl. No urinals. Also, you know what? Anyone can use anyone's bathroom. Female bathroom. Looks exactly the same. But all of them are clean, so where is that janitor? That's still ringing. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This is where I came from. Alright, we came through here, shot up a bunch of people, floating people, talking. Gibberish. Ooh. Okay. The hissing sound that tried to evade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That's right. We're in this together. Urban legends that are believed to affect creation of altered materials. This can also be dictated by. The altered world event, urban legends are understood by the. Uh... Okay. That babble's contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody. Sorry, I should have let her just stop, finish talking. Oh, we just listened to that. It makes you hum it over and over. There's a pyramid. Trying to teleport me to places. That guy looks different. He's a.
kill me. He's smoking. Well, he's dead anyway. I think that's the director. Help me fix it. Let's push F. So I guess that's room shifting. What they were talking about we earlier. Did we did it. We sure did. Can you hear me? Yes, strange. Are you with us? Circle. With the bureau. Are you? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feelings mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah, uh, I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Uh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. This game is very meta. I'm, I'm having a hard time following everything, but... Uh... I kinda got the gist of it, I guess. This guy is possessed by the hiss. And I'm gonna cleanse him. Did it work?
It didn't work. No. The hiss <laughs> has burrowed too deep. Ripping it out rips them apart. Fast travel Jesse. outfits. We need to make a plan, Jesse. Play dress up. Let's go make a plan. I picked up a bunch of stuff real quick, so weapon mods. Damage well on low health. And I have a health boost, so kind of contradicting. I need clearance level to maybe that's to get rid of redacted stuff. Uh okay, this is about the enemies. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways, but most common and least intense form is seen in many corrupted agents floating throughout the Bureau. The hiss agents have manifested their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transportation. Transformation, the most notable distinction from unaffected human, is the fact that they levitate. These hiss have displayed not, no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in voicing the strange indication of ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate or the hiss corruption like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or if you've ever played StarCraft, like the Overlords. Or are they, are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When asked, hiss agents disappear. Uh, when attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing transformation into pure uh, resonant form. Research is ongoing. Hiss guard. Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss is quick to take advantage of this fact. The Hiss guards use standard issue bullpup rifles carried prior to the corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action rifle, pump action shotguns. They have no observable uh, paranormal abilities, with the exception of certain Hiss guards that are protected by shielding of dense Hiss renaissance, capable of stopping bullets. Is this shielding a result of? Okay, so I was like the hard to shoot guy earlier. Is this shielding result of prolonged? Prolonged his corruption? Does the his mature in organic host over time? More data is needed. Did the his target individuals with combat training? Does the his have a level of cognizance? Does the does it utilize hosts that das they are best suited to? Combat trained hosts are reserved for combat. These are all questions for later. Though it is obvious the corrupted individuals retain knowledge for the use of their weapons. Cool. I can't cleanse them. I saw. Yeah, you sink. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an... incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mailroom. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. 
They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. I have the door a lot to the comms department is just outside the boardroom back in the lobby. They should have gotten it open by now. Follow the signs to the mail room. You can get to the hotline containment chamber through there. Good luck, Jesse. See you back here once you have the hotline. Thanks, okay. Emily. I think this is a good place to stop episode one. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe and we will go find the hotline and uh thank you for watching